Hello, Lieb reviewers. So I'm looking into your love life here, and what I'm getting is that you do have a potential life partner coming in. You do have true love. You do have somebody who's either spying on you or about to be spying on you. Um, I am getting a strong sense of throat chakra blocks here. I feel like I feel like things in your life have been just sort of blocked and um, stagnant. Maybe you've kind of gotten bored with life. Maybe you're you're really trying to focus on your your uh, goals, but it's like you just all work and no play. There's just like a lack of balance when it comes to you know healing and rest and and having fun and enjoying your life and taking time to stop and smell the roses. So I think that the, this this throat chakra block and maybe other chakras that are blocked as well, I think that needs to be focused on a little bit here. And you really need to um, see the beauty and the mystery and the enchantment in life again, you know, getting back in tune with, um, you know, your passion for life, your passion for love. Um, getting back into this universal flow of just abundance and synchronicity and, and manifestation. I think that you just, you got to focus on clearing these blocks up. But part of clearing them up, it's like, what is what is that quote? When you, um, you can't just get rid of the old, you have to actually um, replace it with something else. You know, like if you, if you end a unhealthy coping mechanism or an unhealthy pattern you have to replace it with a healthy pattern you can't just simply end it and have a void there you know what I mean like you have to actually do something to replace it like um what is that that quote change comes not with releasing the old but with building the new so it's so it's both it's releasing the old but it's also building the new life that you want as well and so um you know, you, you, you do need to heal. You do need to unblock your chakras. You do need to, um, to just process things, I think. But at the same time, you also want to make it fun. You also want to, you know, have your hobbies and your passions and, you know, this renewed energy and this, this love for life again. I feel like this trauma could be related to sex, seduction, um, manipulation, deception, could be sexual trauma, could be, um, could just simply be that, uh, you know, someone kind of used you or deceived you or you just feel like people kind of use you for sex or that they don't really see what's underneath. It's, it's some kind of trauma. I think that you know what it is. I think it's going to be personal for you, so I won't dive too much into it, but, um, Whatever this this manipulation and deception and, and this this uh, sexual energy or sexual trauma is, I think it's left you cold and guarded and distrusting. And so I think your guys just wanted to point this out that because maybe you're wondering where your love is, and what's going on, and it's like maybe you have these these psychic or subconscious blocks that you're only partially aware of. So so again, it's not just about releasing the old; it's also about building the new the new life that you want as well you know what I mean like if you cut out old friends that's amazing that's wonderful but you have to replace them with you know with new friends you have to go out and meet people and make new friends otherwise you're going to get lonely and you're going to go back to the old people you know same with 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 uh patterns with dieting or health or you know whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now it's like you you really have to um you have to you have to invite the new in. I think you have to go out and live your life. It can't just be all work and all, just all these goals and this uphill battle. You kind of have to rest. You know, go out in nature, go meditate, go on a vacation. You know, do things that are fun. Do things that that put you in that flow of just abundance and just being in tune with with nature and with the universe again. You know, that's part of healing. Is part of healing is is being happy and. Um, you know, enjoying life and, and seeing the beauty in the world. It's not all just work. It shouldn't just all be an uphill battle, you know. Healing can really come from just doing things that feel good for you, whether it's self-care, taking a bath, going on an adventure, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be so stressful and such a struggle, you know. Like, do things that just make you happy, and that's that's going to be a, a huge key to your success is, is just doing what makes you happy. I also feel like you might be meeting somebody new when you go travel 
you know, we got adventure, honeymoon, vacation here. So I think that this energy, once you clear up this energy, I think that the love that you've been trying to manifest is going to come in pretty quickly. Because we've got true love and potential life partner, and we have spying here as well. And, um, you know, for most of you guys, for those of you that watch my channel, just to, to reiterate, for those of you that are new, I've been getting a strong collective energy that a lot of you are, you know, going to be releasing um, the ex and you're manifesting somebody new. So there's like a whole new group of divine masculines and divine feminines too that are coming in. You know, I think the universe, the higher ups kind of said enough is enough. I'm tired of, you know, they're tired of seeing you in the same old patterns, the same struggle with people and they want you to have true love. So, you know, the majority of people that are drawn to my channel, it means that you, you know, you have the ex, the old person, but you also have somebody new that you've either just manifested or that is, you know, you're about to manifest somebody that's like in your energy field. Um, so yeah, you know, you, I'm going to tell you both stories. I'm going to tell you about the old person and the new person and the choice is yours. You know, to me personally, I think the new person is a much better choice. And this, this could be an energy back here. Like this could be a specific person or it could just be like a pattern or a certain energy that you're you're healing from but I feel like once this clears up you know you have true love you have a potential life partner here and this person could be somebody it could be somebody who's already spying on you on social media somebody who's kind of watching you from afar but they don't know what to say um maybe they just notice you but they're not really sure how to come how to come to you it could also be that, you know, you guys are just connecting in the 5D, like telepathically, like they're kind of watching you and just waiting for the right time to come in. Like their guides and your guides are just trying to make sure everything aligns properly for this, this meeting to take place, you know? So they could be kind of watching you from the higher realms, if that makes any sense. Like they're, they're like aware of you telepathically, but it's like their guides and your guides are kind of leading you guys to each other. Because, you know, everyone wants to make sure that you guys do it right, that this just aligns perfectly and that you have let go of this old energy um, so that you don't, you know, project all that trauma onto this new person and think, hey, this relationship is too good to be true. What do they want? You know what I mean? Like they want to make sure that you don't sabotage this new connection that's either just come in or is coming in. And so, again, this person could be spying on you on social media or this person might also just be, you know, aware of you on a telepathic level. And they're, they're really thinking about this. They're really, you know, overanalyzing it a little bit. And they want to make sure you don't self-sabotage as well as what this card is telling me. Um, yeah, so is, they're they're thinking about it. They're want, everyone wants to make sure this just goes perfectly. And again, you might be meeting this person when you travel because I feel like this person, you know, you need adventure and you need this honeymoon and this vacation in your life. Like you need to love life again. You need to do fun things again. You need to put yourself first again and do fun things that are just for you, you know, things that aren't for anybody else, but just things that are just for your own self-care. And I feel like this person might be wanting to take you on a vacation or it's just saying like, you know, this is part of that energy where it's like you're going to... How do I explain that? It's like you're, this is part of that new start, start, you know what I mean? Like part of that adventure and loving life again might be connected to this person, like kind of helping you and showing you that there's more to life than, than what you've seen so far. Um, I feel like, I feel like more than anything, I feel like this is you overthinking, overanalyzing and self-sabotaging. And, you know, I think your guides kind of want you to take this leap of faith when it comes to, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation type energy, it's like they, they want you to take this leap of faith and, and just do things that are fun again. And again, I think that this, this new person is really helping you with that energy. They're helping you step out of your comfort zone. They're helping you open up again. They're helping you see the beauty in the world again when they come in. And, you know, if you've been led to go somewhere to travel, I think it might be telling you as well that this could be, you know, do what your guides are leading you to do because you might end up meeting somebody there. There could be somebody who's kind of um, at, like in another state or another country or somebody who's like a potential life partner but maybe doesn't live near you is kind of what I'm getting. And yeah, I think they're kind of just watching you on social media right now, kind of testing things out because we have pub publicity in social media here. So I think that they're wanting this with you. If this is somebody that you're already talking to, then I think that 
you know, they're just kind of watching you from afar and trying to see what's up with you basically is what I get. But again, this, this other energy needs to be cleared out. Um, the, the throat chakra blocks need to be cleared out because your guides want to make sure that when this comes in, that you guys, that you don't sabotage it. They want to make sure that you understand that this love is real and that you don't, um, repeat old patterns from the past. You know what I mean? They want you to have this new love, this new start, this new mindset, basically. So anyway, if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me, please. And I also do paid private readings. My contact info is below. Thanks for watching.